This video was not filmed by me, and it will only be on in its entirety on my Patreon channel. Well, I cut this video down from over an hour down to 37 minutes because I cut all the boobies out. If you want to see the boobies, and there's lots of that and a lot more. This was back in the days when it was wild out there in the Sturgeon, South Dakota. So if you want to see all that, you're going to have to watch the rest of these videos, the full video, on Patreon channel. I'll have this one cut up into a little over 10 minute segments, and I'll throw it on there as previews for what will be coming on the long version, full version, over an hour on Patreon. Stay tuned. I don't have a chest. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Had my skirt blown up a few times. Yeah. On purpose. On purpose. Oh, too much. Too much. <laughs> Riceville, Iowa. Harley Joe Daly. Population 800. Glad to be here. Oh, lots of boobs. Lots of, uh, they're just dancing. Everybody's having a good time. Isn't it? Back here. I walked in this bar, my beard was perfectly black and nice. I've been wet, I've been stepped on, the horse shit on my boot. Oh, that's what the problem I'm sorry. So what'd you think when you came into town and saw all these bikers? <laughs> it's, it's something different, all right. I like it. I like this, yeah. Is it right here? Oh, were, you, were you expecting to see this? No, I wasn't. No. That's the crazy thing you've done all week. That's sex. Yeah, without our friend knowing. <laughs> but you guys Working on some too. <laughs> Glad to hear it. It's my first one. Well, I'm never going to get married again. I'm just going to find some gal I can't get along with and buy her a house. Hey. So what'd you buy? Oh, a leather vest. My purse. <laughs> uh, my boots. I have no shirt on. <laughs> Um, and from Dallas, Texas, or come up here and have a good time. I'm still having a good time. You spend any money up here yet? I tried not to. No, I spent a lot of money up here. What do you think about the gambling up here? It's all right. Uh, I like yeah. it better when I win. Have you, know, have you won any money yet since you've been up here? No. Have you played? Yeah. Hey, better luck next year. On the way to Sturgis, west of Bellefouche, is a very small town in the middle of nowhere called Alzada, Montana. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't any action there. Rob Peterson and his daughter Amanda will tell you it's a favorite stopping place for bikers on the way to Sturgis. Well, my name's Rob Peterson, and this is my daughter Amanda. And we came from California and bought this bar with three partners back in April. Amanda's going to school up here, which is quite a change to a two-room schoolhouse. But this is just a little party that's happened during Sturgis. Bikers coming through, they find out that the business is owned and operated by people who ride Harleys. They feel comfortable and they stay. So things like this happen and we're pretty happy about it. So it'll most likely end up being a yearly event. So well, that's the first time you've had a contest in it. Oh yeah, but up here you kind of just let it roll. The first time for everything is usually the best. Just tell me your name and where are you from? Linda Stevens from Hewlett, Wyoming. So that's a pretty small town, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very small. <laughs> Very small. So what would some of the people in Hewitt think of you up here dancing? Fuck them. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what made you decide to come up here and get in this contest? This be my birthday. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is his birthday. This is going to be one of the so? best birthdays I think I could ever remember, but I ain't seen it all yet, but when it happens, yes. Just give me your names and, and where you're from. I'm Randy Arfan from here. This is my wife, Terry Arfan. I'm from Hawaii. So you're the bouncers here? I am. You're the bouncer. Yeah. I watch. So has there been any trouble yet? None. There hasn't even been any other underage people yet. Want to hear a good biker joke? Sure. How come biker women don't like vibrators? Got Chips it. or teeth? <laughs> all right. Okay, we have a contest, as we all know, going on. We even got something for the ladies tonight. So uh, our first contestant tonight is going to be Linda. 
Come on up, Linda. Give her a hand. Come on, guys. It's not too bad here. Well, it looks like the action needs to heat up a bit, so let's get the hell out of here. We'll, we'll check back when the contest really gets rolling. Meanwhile, let's head back to Main Street Sturgis and check out the babes, the bikes, the costumes, and characters. It's a leather and chrome extravaganza and plenty of black t-shirts. Yeah. But fuck that. Let's see if we can get some chicks to show us their tits. No, I don't show my tits. I did that before. What made you decide to come down here? What'd you hear about it? I wanted to come here for years. It just seemed like a big party. And it's been a great time. We've had a really good time. What do you like the best about Sturgis? Besides the women? <laughs> All right, besides what? What do you like? All the booze, the women, and the party. <laughs> I still can't say it. Unless it's an X-rated video. Yeah, I think it's a neat hat. You always wear your tits on your head. Always. <laughs> always. Yeah. Her tire blew out in the face. Yeah, I did. Flames down the highway and having two tires blow out within an hour. It's two hours. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I like, I like the Buffalo Burgers. But they don't have as many anymore. They only had one. One place that had them. <laughs> so you come all the way to Sturgis for a Buffalo Burger. That's yeah. pretty neat. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Titty shows, that's what I like. I beg your pardon? Titty shows, that's what I like. You like the Sturgis lady? Show me your tits and I'll tell you. Rode all the way from Butte, Montana. All right, call it Butt, Montana. Butt, Montana. Right, Butt, Montana. <laughs> Oh, somebody's having a good time, huh? They are, aren't they? What have you been doing then? Drinking? Where? Iowa. Iowa? Where you came down here? Iowa. So where have you been drinking tonight? Iowa. What do you have to say that you just want to say? Ew! <laughs> what? We're in Sturgis, South Dakota. That's all right. Well, what do you think of it so far? It's all right. Oh, come on, I can't use it if you give me one wine. You gotta say a complete sentence. Give me a subject, verb, and an object. <laughs> Is that the camera there? Yeah, that's the camera. Hey! <laughs> All right. You're not gonna use this, are you? What are you gonna do tomorrow? I'm gonna fucking go home. While that guy is heading home, let's head out to Shotgun Willie's in downtown Rapid City. It Hi, what's your name? Megan. Now, we're at Shotgun Willie's. Tell, tell us exactly what do you do. I'm a dancer here. Now, tell me seriously. <laughs> what's your, your name, sir? Al. Al, what do you do here? I keep everybody happy. Everybody's pretty mellow. It's like a big family here. What do you love most about your job? <laughs> the naked women. <laughs> what kind of action we can find out at the Sturgis Dragway? Here you'll see some of the best drag racers in the country. And it's not a bad place to find some good looking ladies either. The drag strip is the only one in the nation built exclusively for motorcycles. These guys can do 140 miles per hour in an eighth of a mile. But sometimes the best action is not always on the track.
Daddy Rat's known world over for his chopper show and for having some of the hottest bikes anywhere. But he also likes to surround himself with some hand-picked babes he calls rat meats. And the name is self-explanatory. He never seems to have any trouble finding them. It's an honored position at the bike show. The girls just love his little ass. He's such a darling. But never chew gum and interview at the same time. So how did you end up getting me and this rat meat? Well, Daddy Rat just happened to give me this opportunity to be one. Daddy Rat so, is kind of syrup, isn't it? Oh, yes, Daddy, you are, darling. Come <laughs> on over here, Carl. Where? The third? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once so, again. So where do you find all these ladies? It's not hard. You know, if you got a good trained eye and a bachelor's degree in art, it's easy. So what do you do, sweet talk them? No, I just it's look just in their eyes. Yeah. Really a... You know, it's that mousy look. He goes, squeak, squeak, would you come with me? <laughs> <laughs> she is going to like, not my fuse, but she's going to like somebody else's fuse. <laughs> How'd you end up being Miss Human Mom? Well, they gave me the sash, said, you want the light fuse? I said, sure. It was fun. So what do you think about doing that? I would do it, but he doesn't, he does a good job. Just come around to Daddy Rat, we'll have fun. <laughs> One of Big Daddy Rat's new sidekicks is Jesse the Human Bomb. He burned his face a few times and blew off one of his balls, but nothing serious. And come to think of it, he owes us some money. Pay up, Jesse, if you value your other ball. So what'd you think of that? That was great. That was great. You guys come down here. We'll give you a black shirt. Don't worry. Okay, Big 